me invite those, those who are not able, unfortunately, Ami is here giving of his time and uh, it was published before. Um, so I'm really sorry, those who are not able, but the children are welcome and so are the adults. It's not just for children. In the meeting, boy. I don't want that. So, during, during the meeting, you will all be muted. There will be time for you to become unmute yourselves and ask Ami questions. Ami, so please go ahead and uh, our first lesson on Israeli bureaucracy. Okay, so this is, uh, it's going to veer a little bit away from Israeli bureaucracy because that can be really boring and irritating. So we're going to go with something a little more light. Um, I would like to, first of all, um, I won't be able to hear you, but I can see what you type in the chat, uh, at least for this part. So please let me know. I need a vote now whether to do a lesson geared towards beginners or to intermediate learners. So please write in the chat whether you're BEG, beginner, or INT, intermediate. Go for it. I see two responses so far. Three, so far all beginners. Beginners. They're all for beginners, I mean, they're all beginners. Philip, you're not a beginner. <laughs> beginner, <laughs> beginner, beginner. Okay, all right, so let's go with the beginners. Okay, so this right. webinar has, has two parts in, in this, this, uh, this lesson. In the first part, you'll participate in a staged conversation between two Hebrew speakers, where your job is to respond to my cues out loud. I can't hear you, but if you turn on your camera, I can see your, your lips moving. And I'd really like to see your lips moving because I want to make sure you're speaking. So please turn on your cameras if you can, if you're willing. Um, in the first part, there will be no visuals. You only see me. So trust your sense of hearing. In the second part, we will have a look at the text of the conversation. Okay, great. I can see some people. This is good. Um, whoever else is willing to turn on their camera, please do so. The interaction is... is, is uh, is, is well probably. done, Sandy. Well done, Rachel. Come on, the rest of you. Put on your cameras for a few minutes so that he can read your lips. Okay. A woman named Miri is washing dishes, but the water won't go down the drain. She calls out in frustration, Ugh, listen, and I don't know how to say that in South African, but in, English, in American, it's Ugh. Listen and repeat. Oof. 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 She calls out, Ugh, the sink is clogged. Just listen. Oof, yesh stima bakior. What she's saying literally is, there's a blockage in the sink. Let's learn how to say this on, beha on Miri's behalf, part by part. First, the word for there is. Yesh. Say it out loud. Yesh. She calls out, Ah, oh, there is, say it for her. Oof, yes. A blockage, listen and repeat. Make sure you speak out loud. Stima. Ma. Sti. Stima. Stima. He has no word for a. Uh. So Miri is simply saying, there is blockage. Say it for her. Yesh stima. Yesh stima. In the sink, maybe in, maybe the basin, I don't know how. Is that how you say it in South African, maybe? But in American, it's in the sink. Listen and repeat. Bakior. Kior. Your. Kior. Ba. Bakior. Bakior means literally in the sink. Which part do you think means in the? Ba. Now say, in the sink. Bakio. Miri says, ah, there is. Keep speaking for her. Oof. 
אוף, יש בלוקג' סתימה in the sink. בכיור, כיור, בכיור. She calls out, there's blockage in the sink. יש סתימה בכיור. Do you know the Hebrew word for I or I am? אני. אני. אסף, מירי's husband, says, I'm calling, listen and repeat. אני מתקשר, מתקשר, קשר, קשר, מת, מתקשר. Asaf says, I'm calling. Ani mitkasher. In Hebrew, when we make a phone call, we say that we're calling to someone. Listen and repeat. Ani mitkasher le... Le... Asaf says, I'm calling Benny, or literally, I'm calling to Benny. Try saying it for him. Ani mitkasher le Benny. Le Benny. I'm calling Benny the handyman. Just listen. Ani mitkasher le Benny hashiputznik. Here's the word for handyman. Listen and repeat. Shiputznik. Nik. Putznik. Putznik. She. Shiputznik. How do you say handyman in Hebrew? Shiputznik. How do you say Benny, the handyman? Benny Hashiputznik. Asaf says, I'm calling. Ani mitkasher. Ani mitkasher le... I'm calling Benny the handyman. אני מתקשר לבני השיפוצניק. How does Miri call out in exasperation, Ugh, there's blockage. אוף, יש סתימה. There's blockage in the sink. יש סתימה בכיור. אסף says, I'm calling Benny the handyman. אני מתקשר לבני השיפוצניק. מירי is not sure this is a good idea. She says, but, listen and repeat, אבל, אבל, but we, listen and repeat, אבל אנחנו, אנחנו, 
נו. נחנו. אנחנו. אנחנו. מירי בגנס, but we, אבל אנחנו, we need, listen and repeat, אנחנו צריכים, חים, חים, רי, רי, ריחים, צרי, צריכים, אנחנו צריכים, מירי says, we need, אנחנו צריכים, but we need אבל אנחנו צריכים אבל a plumber listen and repeat installator lator insta Installator. There is a proper Hebrew word as well for plumber, but most Israelis use installator, a word borrowed from European languages. Say it again. Installator. Miri says, but we need... אבל אנחנו צריכים a plumber installator Asaf had said I'm calling Benny the handyman אני מתקשר לבני השיפוצניק Do you know the Hebrew word for no? Lo. Lo. Miri said, but we need a plumber. Aval anachnu tzrichim installator. Not, it's the same word as no. לא, not a handyman, לא שיפוצניק, she continues, we have, listen and repeat, יש לנו, לנו, לנו. יש לנו. She says, we have. יש לנו. A problem. Listen and repeat. בעיה. עיה. בעיה. בעיה. What's the Hebrew word for a problem, or simply problem? Be'aya. Miri says, we have a problem. Yesh lanu be'aya. In the sink. בכיור. Asaf replies, Benny the handyman, Benny 
בני השיפוצניק knows, listen and repeat, יודע, יודע, דע, יודע, יודע. בני knows, בני יודע, בני the handyman knows, בני השיפוצניק יודע, to fix, listen and repeat, לתקן, כן, תקן, ל, לתקן. What's the Hebrew word for to fix? לתקן. Asaf says, Benny knows how to fix. The word for how is implied. בני יודע לתקן. Everything. Listen and repeat. הכל. כל. הכל. Everything. הכל. בני the handyman. בני השיפוצניק knows how to fix everything. יודע לתקן הכל. He, listen and repeat, who, who, he knows Try saying it. Who you there? How to fix everything. Litaken hakol. Besides, listen and repeat. Chutz mize. Mize. זה, מזה, חוץ, חוץ, חוץ מזה, אסף אדס, בסיידס, חוץ מזה, היא, הוא, He is cheaper. Just listen. Hu yoter zol. The phrase yoter zol means literally more cheap. The word for cheap, here's the word for cheap. Listen and repeat. Zol. Zol. Here's cheaper. Listen and repeat. Yoter zol. Yoter. Yoter. How do you say cheaper or literally more cheap in Hebrew? Yoter zol. Asaf says, besides. Chutz mize. He's cheaper. Since Hebrew has no word for is, Asaf literally says, He cheaper. Listen and repeat. Who yoter zol? Who? Who yoter zol? Let's review their, their, their conversation from the beginning. Miri says, 
Ugh, there's blockage in the sink. Oof, yes, stima bakio. Yes, stima. Asaf says, I'm calling. Animit kasher. I'm calling Benny the Handyman, or I'm calling to Benny the Handyman. Animit kasher le Benny hashiputznik. Mitkasher le. Le Benny hashiputznik. Miri says, but, aval, we, anachnu, but we need, aval anachnu tzrichim, צריכים. But we need a plumber. אבל אנחנו צריכים אינסטלטור. אינסטלטור. Not a handyman. לא שיפוצניק. We have יש לנו לנו We have a problem יש לנו בעיה Be'aya. In the sink. Bakio. Asaf says, I'm calling Benny the handyman. Animit kasher le Benny hashiputznik. But Miri says, but we have Aval Yesh Lanu a problem in the sink. Beaya Bakio. We don't need Anachnulot Srichim. A handyman. Shiputznik. We need a plumber. Anachnu tzrichim installator. Asaf says confidently, Benny the handyman. Benny Hashiputznik, he knows who you dare, how to fix, or literally to fix, Litaken. He knows how to fix everything. Who you dare to taken hakol?
הכל. Besides, חוץ מזה, he's cheaper, he's more cheap. הוא יותר זול. He knows how to fix everything. הוא יודע לתקן הכל. Besides, חוץ מזה, he's cheaper. הוא יותר זול. Okay, so that's it for the first portion of the lesson, the speaking and listening. In our program at Upan Lanyan, we separate out the speaking and listening from the reading and writing, because really speaking and listening is the most important thing. So we want to train people to, to hear and speak, we want to focus on those rather than diluting it with, with text. The next stage of the lesson, I'm going to put in some text. Um, and I also want to say, first of all, Welcome. I understand everybody here except for Teddy and whoever's at Telfid right now uh, just made Aliyah very recently um, and Philip as well. Uh, welcome. And you should know that since you're new Olim, you are entitled to our program of Upan Lanyan, fully reimbursed by the government. Small classes, four to six people in a class, um, and And then it's, it's on the house. It's, it's Misrat Lakrita covers it. So if you're interested in that, visit ulpan.com and uh, you'll find information there. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to the next portion of the lesson. Teddy, did you want to say something? I, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for joining. I did understand that uh, the luggage had arrived and I'm glad that, you, that if that's true, then uh, tell them uh, Ms. Vadot Igil. So oh. Hopefully that's true. And I wish you all the rest of the afternoon, a good afternoon, and good night to all. Enjoy the rest of the lesson, and thank you so much, Ami. Sure. Thank you, Teddy. Okay, so now I'm going to open up a... Uh, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share... One moment. Share this. Okay, so here, here, now, here's the part where you can take notes. Earlier, it's better not to take notes because I want to train your, your ear, your memory. Um, here is a good time to take notes because now we're moving into text. This says, Hashiputznik. If you can read Hebrew, great. If not, then that's okay too. Hashiputznik, because this lesson is geared towards everybody. How would you say there is in Hebrew? Yesh. A blockage. Stima. In the sink. Bakio. See, laser pointer. And here, this ba means in the. The ha of the is, is, is built into this. Instead of saying beha, it's hard to say beha, so it just becomes ba. Bakio in the sink. Sink is simply kio. I. Ani am calling to Mitkasher le. Now, this is a man speaking, so it's Mitkasher. 
ending with a reish instead of mitkasheret. Le? Benny the Handyman. Benny Hashiputznik. Now I encourage you to, if you're taking notes and transcribing this, write it without the vowels. Shiputznik. Without all these extra dots. But Aval We Anachnu We need אנחנו צריכים a plumber installator this is one of those foreign words which is really long and people see it and they're like what does that say and then they realize oh okay I know that word installation installator she says, no. Lo. We have yesh lanu a problem Baya He Who This is where Asaf saves the day. He knows Who you there. to fix Litaken everything a call besides He's cheaper. Okay. Now I'm going to stop the share. I can see everyone. Now is the time for questions. So if you have questions, please type them in the chat. No questions? In Sheilot? No? Okay. Hello. <laughs> nice. Um, Doron, are you here? Hi, Shalom. Shalom. Sam is mine at Haim. Is it Seda, Haim? Was it Haim? Ken. Is it Seda? Hello, Evanti. Sam, I love that effort. Who is mine at Haim? Philips, 
אבל אנחנו בדיוק מסיימים, עכשיו אני מעביר את השרביט לדורון. אה, אוקיי, אז... אתה רוצה להתחיל Okay. Okay. Shalom, Doron. Okay, I'm you. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right, great. Yoffi. Sorry, I just blinked out for a bit. So, I Ami, mean, are, we, are we finished the lesson for today? Yes. Great. So I wanted to thank Ami so much. You know, Telfed has been, uh, been a company in uh, Upanla Inyan pretty much from close to the beginning, right, Ami? I mean, from our early, early days in mm -hmm. the, the Moadonla Ole in the Telfed building in Ranana, And Ami really has built this empire of Hebrew studies. And uh, it really says a lot about Upan Inyan that they're an official partner of Misrada Klita and that you can study your Hebrew Upan together with Ami and his great team. So we're proud to have uh, seen you along this journey, Ami, from pretty much from the beginning. Proud to be part of it along with you. Yeah, so and thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we appreciate it. And it was great watching everybody mouth in the words and learning. And really, you know, Hebrew is, it's your entree into Israeli society, culture, and it's in your DNA. Know that it's there, right? Each one of you, it's there. It's inside your DNA. As, as people who have made Aliyah, it's just, even if you can't speak it yet, it's just waiting to come out. Right, it's like Michelangelo's statues that he used to say, I was just chiseling away the, the stone until the statue appeared, right? That's like Hebrew and you guys, just work at a chisel away, a chisel away at the, the stuff that's stopping you from being confident. And, uh, you know, practice like Ami's been showing you now and, and it will, it'll, you'll get there. And it's really your, your corridor into Israeli society and culture. So we, we really appreciate you helping us out here, Ami, and call uh, a vote for the great work that you do. I was happy to hear that the luggage has arrived for those that were missing the luggage. We did ask the Ministry of Absorption to intervene. As I said uh, this morning, you know, we're a third party to the flight. Uh, the, the airlines and the airport wouldn't talk to us because we're not directly involved with the flight, but we did ask the Ministry of Absorption to intervene and understand that as soon as the Ministry of Absorption intervened, then things started moving a bit faster. So we're really glad uh, that that helped. Um, I got a few questions uh, regarding the corona test. So again, right, we, we aren't a direct party to the hotel. The hotel is run by the Home Command, which belongs to the Israeli army. Um, and they're the ones that arrange the corona tests. So again, they won't, they won't talk to us about your corona tests. If for whatever reason you feel that something's not working as it should and you're not getting the corona tests that you should be getting, then please call them, you know, call the reception. The reception is manned by people from the home command and, and tell them your concerns. Um, that, that applies to everything and anything at the hotel, right? It's all under the home command. If there's any issues, you should feel free to speak to them. Uh, but they won't chat to us, right, as a third party. Um, I want to remind you, for those that haven't filled out your contact form, to please do so, right? You received the contact form, and, and here it is now. Nicole just sent it to us in the chat. So if you haven't filled out your contact form, you know, please go to that link and, and fill it out so we have all of your, your details. Um, a reminder that at 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, we have our final uh, T at 10 with Telford, and that is uh, on the issue of employment. So right, it's a very important uh, seminar for everyone to attend, just thinking of working in Israel. So please make a note, come on time. We'll be meeting you all at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then at two o'clock um, uh, tomorrow, we have our press webinar, which is for especially designed for those with kids, our press students, 
are our volunteer students. They receive a scholarship and they do three hours of community service a week. And uh, part of their community service they're going to be doing with you guys is uh, activities for the kids tomorrow at two. But remember this idea of the Telfit scholarships because it applies to you and applies to your children and your grandchildren, right? That you can apply to be either press students. That means doing three hours of community service a week, helping us absorb Olim through your studies, or you can apply to be a press client and receive a press student to help you three hours a week with your absorption. So if you want to apply for a press client, it's all through the website, the Telfed website and the press. And the same thing, if you're going to be a student next year, then you apply to be a press student and get that 5,500 shekel scholarship that we give. So looking forward to seeing you all again tomorrow at 10. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you once again to Ami. Thank you to Nicole for putting together these wonderful uh, seminars. And um, we'll, as we say in the classics, shalom. That is the word that all of you know. Right. So that so that the Quran, uh, that's lacha. Lots of success. That's lacha. Can, 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 can I ask you? Sorry. Can I mean, you have a question here, right here. Yes. I mean, you still Ami, with sorry, us? Sorry, I've just sent you an email. I thought you, I thought you went off. Uh, yeah, sorry, I disappeared. I've got um, my father in law joined late. He's on the screen under the name of Bev Joy Ehrlich. Uh -huh. uh, he's probably your oldest Ole. Um, uh, where would we get the recording? He joined late and we'd like him to listen to it. Where would we get that recording, please? Um, I think Nicole would be able to answer that. If Nicole is here. Okay, so it's Nicole recording. Yeah, we'll be able to send a recording. We'll send a document um, towards the end of the week with all the links that um, my colleagues referred to and with recordings of relevant webinars as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, to that Bye. Bye. Bye.